Hi, I'm Clayton with Forbes, and today I want to look at our new wind slate and all of the different access methods that it accommodates. We're really excited about this design in that it can transform to accommodate whatever access method somebody needs, which is really powerful. And let's look at some of those access methods. So first is obviously touch access. And the touch panel works very well in the wind slate. This is a 40 location core word language system that has vocabulary, core vocabulary. If I just touch on the buttons, I can I generate a sentence. One, two, eat. I am hungry. I want to eat. And by the way, the sound is coming from the sound pod, which is our wearable voice output module I have on a neck lanyard right now. So that can be attached to the back of the device or worn around a neck lanyard, but that's where that audio is coming from. So let's look at some other ways that we can accommodate touch access. Some of our users don't have fine motor skills or dexterity and require the use of something called a key guard. And what a key guard does is holds the hand off of the screen so that you're not making presses on buttons that you don't want to press. So this is our newest key guard. And I did another video on key guards you can check out on our YouTube channel. But I can attach this key guard by simply bringing it up to the device and it clicks onto the face. And you can see it mirrors the layout. So the button, this 20 location, this is a 20 location key guard. And I could use this key guard to help guide my hand and make my selections and not make selections that I don't want to make. So our users will ladder their fingers around the key guard and then drop in Hi. wherever they want to make their selections. So it's a key guard and we do tons of key guards of different layouts. We have them in black and clear, rectangular holes, circular holes, you name it. We have it. The next thing I want to show you is our scan switch access. So we use the easy switch bundle for wireless switch scanning. It works really well. We also use something called the Swifty for wired switch access and sometimes wireless as well. But one of the challenges with switch access is that the USB dongles are fairly long. And if you were to plug them into the side of the tablet, they kind of hang out or if they're plugged into the back, they're hanging out and could be damaged. So what we've done is designed this little port relocator system, which is nothing more than a male to female extension cable with a special saddle clip that saddles onto the back of the adapter module. So what I'll do is plug this port relocator into one of our USB ports and then I'll clip it onto the adapter module could hear it snap into place and then I can install my switch dongle and with that in place you can tell there's no there's nothing sticking out any longer to be broken so everything's concealed behind the tablet and then even on the back the dongle is held within the rear plane of the device which protects it and adds to the durability so this is switch access and if you're not familiar switch allow People that can use a switch, this is called indirect selection because I'm not directly making the selection I want. But when I press the switch, the software goes into a row column scanning. And there's a lot you can do with switches and I'm really not that good at scanning, but my users are. So if I wanted to say I, what I would do is wait for the software to highlight the I and then hit my switch, you know, the row that has I in it, which is right there. I. And now my next selection that I want is want. So I'm going to come down here, I'll press the button again. And when the column that says want is highlighted, then I'll, I would hit my switch and then press it again. So that's row column switch access. And you could see it would take, it'd take a while to generate your sentences, but a lot of users become very proficient at this. And it's a access method that we definitely designed in preparation for. So the next thing I want to show you is our wireless gyro head mouse. So if I have a user that maybe has a spinal cord injury and can only move their, or still has movement of their head and their neck, I can use this wireless head mouse to move the mouse cursor around on the screen. So that's what I'm going to show you next. It has a long USB dongle again, so I'm going to use my port relocator and plug into the bottom of the port relocator. I. And, and this will be a little difficult to demonstrate, 
but we'll do our best here. So if you can see the screen, and what I would do is wear this on my head like that. And they have some other um, accessories that you can wear it like a neck band. And some people will wear it on a wrist, but this is the most common. And what I can do is move the mouse cursor around. So for example, so I'm gonna first select the home and I would hold my mouse pointer over I, so. I. And then I would point, pull, hold it over the want. Want. Then two. Two. Eat. I want to eat. So that's how you could use the wireless head mouse to access the wind slate. And we have a lot of users that use this as well, and it gives you a lot of options because you can move the mouse cursor around, use it in the grid, you could use it in a computer control setting as well. So the next thing I want to show you is our eye tracking capabilities. And what I'm going to do is add on my Enableize eye tracking module. And I mentioned earlier that we, we designed the device so that it would be modular. And the reason is that some people have needs that change. So if I can touch the ac touch access the device today, but someday won't be able to, you can get a wind slate and add eye tracking when needed. Or if I'm a clinician and in my clinic I see so many different users, I can add or remove eye tracking as I need to. And to add this, I line up the bracket with the bottom of the tablet here, and then I just push in and I rotate upwards and you'll hear it kind of snap into place. It takes a little bit of pushing. I'm going to remove the port relocator because we don't need that anymore. And then we just have this USB cable to plug in. And when we designed this version of the wind slate, we wanted to make sure that all the cabling was concealed and snag free so you could see this cable runs into the mounting bracket. And now we have this cord end to plug in. And what we've done is a dedicated and concealed eye tracker port. So if I squeeze, and I pry upward, you can see there's a port in there that I can plug this in. And then this little secret door closes, snaps into place, and now my cable and my connection is totally protected. So it gives it that look of an integrated system, but still all of the benefits of a modular system. So I'm gonna relaunch the software and show you just a quick demonstration of eye tracking and how powerful it can be. So eye tracking, I'm gonna to go to one of my um, calibration screens, which I don't really have to do because I've already calibrated this device for me. But for the people that haven't seen this before, I think it'll be helpful. So one of the nice things is with our new wind slate, our flexible handle and stand is longer. So I can eye track in any position. I can eye track on the tabletop. I don't need a mount. So I'm gonna come over here and I, I use this position guide. You could see the avatar. Let me get over here. Maybe you can see that better. Yeah. So when he's smiling and clear and white, that means he's, calibra he's in the right position. So now I'm going to go through a calibration. And all I'm doing is watching that dot as it's shrinking. And the computer is looking at how much my eyes move from left to right and then using that distance to calculate where I might be might be looking. So right now I am eye tracking and I'm going to go to that same language set and just look at the targets and I'll say I want to eat. So you can see how how fast and powerful that is to be able to look right at the target that you want and make your selections. I hope you enjoyed the video. These are just some of the access methods that the wind slate is designed to accommodate. There's a lot more that you can learn about the wind slate and our products in general on our YouTube channel. So please visit our YouTube channel or check us out at ForbesAAC.com. Thanks for watching.